Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. And in this episode, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys, I'm just gonna let you guys guess. What is the crud you think we're gonna do in this episode? Well, we're gonna head to this galaxy and have a good old time, because this is a super massive galaxy. Probably one of the most recognizable galaxies in the game, because it's, well, really, really stinking big, and huge trouble with big wigglers is the first mission. Now, this place, if you've ever played Mario games before, or you have a decent uh, history with them, you may recognize this theme from Super Mario Bros. 3. Which can only mean one thing, Nintendo is running out of ideas. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> but no, this is actually one of the worlds, World 5 if I remember correctly, could be 4, I don't know, I'm pretty dumb. And the Goombas are big, and so are the Koopas, but they're still losers, so they die still pretty easily. And sorry for that slight interruption, my cat apparently wanted to snuggle, but that is not the time. For you see, Bowser is on the loose, and we cannot snuggle when Bowser is terrorizing the good people of the Mushroom Kingdom. Whoa, Nelly, look at that piranha plant. Look at, look at that piranha plant. <laughs> look at those giant lips. He's like, man, I'm piranha plant, man. Shoot, man, I'm piranha plant. <laughs> Anywho, I'm having a great day so far. I actually slept in a really long time. It's already 6 o'clock, and it feels like I just woke up, so... It's one of those days. I'm sure pretty much a lot of teenagers can relate out there. <laughs> It tends to be a common occurrence that we sleep in when it's sometimes even heavily unnecessary. All you gotta do is just side jump over there and you can progress past things. Yeah, I have a tendency to be doing that. I honestly like being a little more productive since if I wake up earlier, I can usually record more videos, but not nah, this week actually. I'm a little. Uh, I guess. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not really nervous, but kinda antsy, I guess would be the worst, best term. Because I got exams coming up pretty soon. Actually, not really exams. I already passed most of mine. I still have one really big one. I'm a tiny bit nervous. So I'm trying to get some videos out so I can spend a majority of my time studying. You know. Because I wanted you guys not see any videos. Man, that would suck. We can't finish this amazing game in time. So. <laughs> and you gotta love how I don't even comment on the stinking... Most, probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing worlds in the game. But, you know, that's just who I am. If I find a topic I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. You know. <laughs> That may not be necessarily the best way to compensate over a video game, but then again, is there such thing? There isn't, so. I do what I want! Alright. <laughs> Simply spin right here, and I'll. It'll, it'll, I, I knew this level pretty well. Now, something coming up, though, which I want you people to make extreme, extreme mention of. Remember this place for later, okay? Okay. Never mind. How you get to it is you sm simply don't uh, re-spin in that launch star. But yes, remember that place for later since it is vaguely important. And alright, hey, it's the Big Wigglers. Not the mission was, well, talking about. All you simply gotta do is here is be pretty good at long jumping and well, avoiding Wigglers. And you should have no problem getting the power star that is on top of this pole. Honestly, a pretty easy star and we got the common metal, no problem. Though it is like ten times harder with Luigi. So it's a good thing, I guess, that we had Mario when getting the star. However, we are not done yet. We still have a secret star to be obtained in Supermassive Galaxy. Okay, and you guys may remember that I made certain that you people remembered this. This is actually where the secret star is. Now, when you get right here, do not spin again, since this is actually where the secret star is located. Simply run around on this planet for long enough to make all these flowers, well, spawn or just be created. Uh, it's kind of actually a... See, if... If I was programming a game, I would kind of give a little bit more of a hint that this is how you get the star, because man, this one's really like, how the crud are you going to guess that? But yes, all the flowers have been, uh, well, created, and hey, uh, oh, see, there's a star, oh, see, see what they did. Hey, Nintendo, you so crazy, you so crazy. Simply spin up here and get the secret star for Supermassive Galaxy. And with all the stars obtained for Supermassive Galaxy, I think it's time we head over to this new galaxy, Honey Hop. Which is, in my opinion, one of the more cryptic levels, considering the star metal is actually decently hard to find. And yes, as you can guess, this is pretty much going to be... B. This will be a level involving the bee suit. And getting silver stars. And wow, it's uh, the Queen Bee from the first game. I see she still hasn't lost any weight. Okay, well enough of that. And yes, in this episode, not this episode, in this galaxy, we're gonna actually demonstrate that the bee suit has more 
abilities than you may think. First off being you can you can grab on honey and walls and it tastes delicious. Pretend you're a hair cross and just eating all that sap. Yes, it's beautiful honey. <laughs> I'm actually gonna just try and burn through this level as quickly as I can because it's honest, I don't know, this is one of the lamer levels if you ask me, it's kind of, it has an okay theme, it's just, it could be better, you know, whatever, it's a B level, you know, it's it's not an A level, that's a joke, I'm so funny, right, tell me I'm funny, tell me I'm funny, oh god, let's get out of these bubbles, and these bubbles will be touching us, ruining our perfect wings, that's just messed up, dude. What's up with that black hole? It's like, who the crud's gonna get all the way over there? Nobody, that's you. Alright. Can we dodge this bubble? Yes, we can. And they're just magically coming out of this stinking... <laughs> Could've animated that a little bit better, Nintendo. That's just my opinion. And hey, this is a new mechanic. It's, uh... Whatever these things are called. Eh. Oh, I don't have any star bits. If I did, I would shoot these balloons. Because I can. I'll shoot that one. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that balloon. And you can actually just... It, it's it, yeah, you can pretty much figure it out. And this is where all five of the stars are gonna be. <laughs> I said B <be> again. <laughs> I'm so funny. And there's actually a turtle load of enemies here, so I guess that's why they give you that life shroom. I don't see my god. It seems kind of silly if you ask me, considering you're a bee and you can avoid all of the enemies without even trying. Then again, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn down free life after all. Something come over here. We're gonna stand on this lily pad and then get another boost up. To get this second star. Yeah. Also, don't stand on those things for too long, cause like just indicated by the video, they will eat you, which is rather unfortunate. And you obviously don't want that. And, hey, get out of here, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to commentate on video games, man. Can't you cramping my style, dog? You're cramping my style. <laughs> oh man. I was trying to make a Fresh Prince of Bel Air joke there, but I don't think anybody that is my audience has. A, watch the show as extensive as I have because I'm basically obsessed with Will Smith in the 90s <laughs> I don't even know why <laughs> anywho getting getting your B suit taken away from you right here isn't too big of a deal since well you can just wall jump up here you don't really need to be a B to do this and oh wow we actually missed it that's annoying yeah now we get and if you keep wall jumping up here oh my gosh there's the star comet star com that's not even a thing Billy what are you talking about? And no, no, Flood has turned against us. He's joined the dark side of the Force in the Sith at the same time. And as, well, he, he was just actually just a minor obstacle. It wasn't really that hard to get past him. Man, I'm really being... <laughs> I'm being so generic today. This isn't funny, but how do I commentate? It's like, it's such a boring level. All you do is collecting stars. It's like this is even a new power-up. It's just boring. Oh my gosh, goodness. Always a pleasure to meet a new bay. I have a favor to ask. There's a tablet itchy spot on my bark. Would you do me so kind and take a look? Ew. Okay, I guess we have to, though. And yes, this is like, this is what Nintendo was envisioning for Super Mario Galaxy. They wanted you to do this for some strange reason. I don't think you know. Anywho, just crawl on her butt. And behind her is the final star. Yeah. It's pretty nifty. She's like, oh, that's the spot. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Why does she sound like Nigel Thornbeard? I don't think I know, but that's another singing star for us to get. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, yeah, okay, keep it yourself, lady. I just want the star. <laughs> and that's pretty much going to be our adventures in Honey Hop for the time being. We may be back here. Or maybe we won't. We will, though, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. And with Honey Hop completed, it is time to actually go to this galaxy. But this galaxy sucks, so we're actually going to this one. Because <laughs> I don't like stinking Flipsville. It's boring, and you basically have to do the same level twice, but with a dr stinking dumb. Anywho, we got another Hungry Luma. We're going to feed him a dump load of Star Bits. This time, these guys, their tastes are just getting that more outrageous. 1,200 Star Bits? Goodness. And I always hate saying 1,200. I always say 1,200. Because I have this tendency of saying like 12k instead of 1.2k. And I'll be like, guys, I got 24k gold in League of Legends. He's like, Johnny, you don't have 24k gold in League of Legends. <laughs> so it's basically an extremely large amount. And hey, a new galaxy. And I don't actually remember which one this is. This could be very interesting for both of us. Uh, yes. And this is Sweet Mystery Galaxy. And if I remember this place correctly, 
I'm gonna get my butt kicked since I'm pretty bad at this place. <laughs> and here's the first mission, Bubbleberry Mysterious Glow. For some reason, I always make that bubble gut or burble gut. What was the name again? I don't know. And yes, this place is all about pan. Oh, look at those pancakes, dude. All right, guys. I don't know if you know this about me or anything. I would cut off my right arm for some flapjacks, like literally, like dude. I just love me some flapjacks. That and hunt, like um, I don't know if other people have this in other countries. So I'm just like being like generic. French toast. Oh my gosh, that is like my favorite breakfast ever. It is amazing. It is the gr it is the best food ever. Cause it's like let's literally make the fattest food possible and eat it. And it's like that's pretty much French toast. Now I almost fell off. That'd been pretty bad. I need to hurry up and get over here before the bulb runs out. Okay, we got another one. And we got this little jerk on our face. Get out of here, man. You're not Birdo. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Birdo, eh? Hmm. No, my, we're running out of the bulb. I need more. I need... Oh, never mind. So some parts of this world are real and some parts are not. But uh, the bulb... The bulb lets us see that. Alright, let's get this. I don't actually remember the star metal here, so... I might actually miss it, which would be pretty unfortunate, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Is it up here? No, but there's a bulb. Bulb berry, I guess is what they're called. So I remember um Frankenberry? Dude, that was like that was like the that was the worst cereal for you, but it was the best tasting. And does anyone else remember that stinking like cereal that was like made of cookies? Oh my gosh, that was like a cavity <laughs> like inducing like a nightmare for parents, I'm sure. No oh, man. But it tasted good, dude. If you wanted your kid to behave, I'm like, okay, I'll get, you, I'll get you your cereal, okay? <laughs> okay, we still have a bulb, so I need to, I need to actually be smarter about this. In this section, we basically need to light up all these panels. Oh, I'm pretty darn sure I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Don't really understand why I did that, but I, because <laughs> I'm too busy talking about delicious treats, dude. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I, can, I consider myself to be a pretty good connoisseur of the uh, breakfast. <laughs> Which isn't even a real thing. Anywho, it's coming over here, and I'm, yeah, I'm pretty certain that I could have just done that from the start, but whatever. Hmm. Man, that's pan oh my gosh, I need some pancakes now. That and waffles, dude, I love waffles too, man. Anything that fits in a toaster, I'll eat it, man. Some things that won't even fit in a toaster, I'll still eat it. <laughs> oh, man. Not really big into chocolate, though. That's a weird thing about me, I guess. Not necessarily weird, everyone has their own different tastes, but... I'm not big on chocolate myself. Oh, man, I almost fell off again. Wow, that's pretty obnoxious. I'm gonna have to eat one of these again. And yeah, let's see if we can't find another path. Wow! I'm good at the game, guys. The game? I'm so good at it, guys. You guys don't even understand. Okay, so I'm starting to figure this place out. Man, I think I've died more in this place than any other world in the game, dude. That is a little bit alarming. Uh, this puffer guy, he wants to... Get out of here, dude! Gosh. <laughs> see this. Okay, now I think I remember this place. Alright, just bear with me here. It's a real sloppy play on my part. Usually I'm so good about my gameplay and my LPs. Since I'm just actually really just good at games. I've been playing them since <laughs> I was like even able to eat. Actually, I think a little bit before that even. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on today. Let's actually eat this though. Alright. Let's move over here, and I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level. Yeah, see, that's how you gotta do it, Dumbo. You're such a Dumbo, Jumbo. And I'm 50% sure I just missed the star medal, so that sucks. I'll probably be putting that somewhere on the screen, if that's the case. And oh my, this is actually pretty difficult looking. Hmm. Confounded, Billy, I missed the star medal. I almost died again. Okay, now get up there, get get up there. I'm almost there. Ugh. No! Get the... No, get the star! You're so stupid! <laughs> Why am I so dumb? This is actually pretty fun. I don't remember this level being hard. I told you guys I didn't like the bullberry. You guys understand that I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not this level though. I guess I'm just being a little silly is all. Oh man. Well, I really wanted to get a lot done in this episode. Oh, well, looks like we can't really. And yeah, that was actually pretty stinking hard, if you ask me. <laughs> I guess the whole pancakes thing was kind of distracting me, but yes, guys, that is that world. Uh, kind of kicked my butt there, but yeah, we beat it. And that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. We took on Super Massive Galaxy, we took on Bumblebee, and we took care of that food one, which I can't remember for the like of me. Life of me, whatever. <laughs> 
So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll tune in for the next one, where we explore even more galaxies. So yeah, I guess I'll see you then. Bye.